Hey everybody, this is Antonio, and today I will be talking about loading data from Reddit into Excel. Now, one reason why this is so um, powerful and useful is we can use this to do sentiment analysis on any sort of data that we're uh, interested in. So we can use this to figure out what people think of a particular product or a person or an entire country. So uh, that's something I'm doing over here. So uh, I picked a uh, 100 random posts about Germany, and uh, here I'm kind of um, doing sentiment analysis to, over the years, figure out what people are uh, saying about Germany. So it's mostly uh, negative, neutral, and positive, and I'm guessing this is uh, data about politics or something. I don't suspect uh, uh, it's a fair bit of negative and ne neutral ones and, quite, and very few positive ones. I suspect this would be true for um, any other country, but uh, we can, we can uh, run that again and see. So uh, in this video, I'm going to just focus on the uh, Reddit functionality, and I'll make a separate video for doing the sentiment analysis stuff, um, because I, I think that's going to be an interesting separate topic. So uh, let's get to it. So the first thing we need to do is we need to be able to load data from uh, Reddit. And if you have a query storm, um, you can click the extension button here, uh, click online, and uh, you can see this uh, for Reddit package over here. If you hover over it, you can see that it contains four, um, four functions. Um, the reason it's called for Reddit is if you're using the Reddit API, they, Reddit insists that you name it something uh, for Reddit. Uh, and I couldn't think of a good something, so I just used for Reddit. I think it's a good, as good as name as any. So uh, once you install this package, uh, you get to use uh, a couple of different uh, new functions uh, in Excel. Uh, the most interesting of the, of the new functions are search post and uh, get comments. So search post lets us, uh, well, basically bring in posts, and get comments lets us uh, get the comments for uh, one or more uh, posts. The other two functions um, just serve to uh, take an ID of a post or a comment and, and turn it into a clickable URL. So, um, or just turn it into a URL and then we can wrap it in a hyperlink function to make it clickable. So let's take a look at this uh, search post function. Uh, it has a couple of different parameters. The first one is the most important one, that's the search query. So let's use um, France over here just so we don't uh, pick on Germany too much. So um, that'll give us uh, a number of posts on uh, about France. So we started at uh, row uh, five. Uh, we're going all the way to row 104. So this looks uh, suspicious. We have uh, just 100 posts. Uh, and uh, the reason is, and most of these posts don't have a very high um, a number of uh, upvotes uh, or very high number of comments. And uh, we can see, if we take a look at the other parameters, we can see why. So the number of uh, results uh, over here, uh, by default, it's limited to 100. Uh, we can see that if we take a look at the description over here. So if I put just 10 over here, it's going to give us results very quickly, but it's just going to give us 10 results. Uh, I suspect there are quite a few posts about France, so if I remove the limit altogether, which I can do by passing in uh, minus one over here, I'd be waiting for a long time. So um, let's go, let's use, uh, let's say 20 posts, uh, and uh, which 20 posts am I going to uh, uh, return? So I can choose over here. So I can return the 20 most relevant one, hottest one, top ones, new ones, uh, the ones with the most comments. By default, um, default is three, which is uh, I'm returning the 20 newest ones, but uh, let's see if we can return the 20 most relevant ones. Um, so uh, so that's, the, that's the most uh, relevant ones over here. Um, another interesting thing we can do over here, so this is a search query, it's not a search phrase, so we can, we can do uh, queries. Uh, so Reddit has a search syntax that we can use. So for example, uh, we, can use, uh, we can use, let's say, subreddit picks, or so we can do uh, so something like this. So we can get, uh, uh, we can see that all of these are from the subreddit picks. And uh, we can get very fancy with these uh, with these queries. So if we go over to reddit.com slash wiki slash search, uh, and I'll I'll put this link in the description of this video. You can um, you can you can get more information about um, the search syntax. So, and if you scroll all the way down, you can see um, some of the more advanced stuff that you can filter on. So you can filter based on author, uh, 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 title, self text, which is the body of the of the post. 
URL title, whatnot. Uh, and then you can also use operators such as the AND operator, the OR operator, NOT operator, and you can even use parentheses to uh, influence the ordering of the operators. So uh, one thing you can do is uh, you can't uh, supply a date range that you, you can't filter based on based on dates. And uh, you can simulate that uh, with a bit of manual work. So um, if I wanted to find all of the posts in between uh, two different dates, I would have to uh, sort this by uh, date. So I would have to use uh, three uh, over here as the sort. And I would have to provide before ID and after ID. So I would have to pick um, two, two posts and I could return all of the posts in between these two posts just by using the before ID and after ID parameters over here. The last per parameter is include uh, header. So uh, that, that uh, parameter uh, influences whether we see uh, this row in the results. So uh, we might want to remove this row or, or change it in some way. So we could uh, copy it and then uh, paste values over here. Uh, and then we could do... Uh, we could uh, skip these and then pass in uh, false over here. Um, and then we could uh, edit the text uh, over here. So uh, another thing we can do is we can uh, turn this ID into a hyperlink. So uh, let's do uh, post, uh, uh, post ID to URL. Um, and if we, if we run that, we're going to get a link that's going to let us go to that post. Uh, if we want this to be a clickable link, we just have to write, uh, wrap that in the uh, call to the hyperlink function. Um, so if I click this, uh, I'm going to get uh, taken to uh, uh, a picture of, uh, I don't know, something in France. Um, okay, so, so these are posts, but uh, we also have... Um, we also have comments themselves, so and, and that's something that's going to come in very handy if we want to do sentiment analysis. So let's say we want to find all of the posts for all of the comments for a given post. So uh, we can do the we can call the get comments function for that, and it has two parameters: the num the IDs of the post and the headers. So uh, let's see if we can get these uh, twelve uh, comments over here. So if I just pass in that, I can see all of the comments for uh, for that particular post. Um, I can also get the um, URL uh, of the of the comment, so I have to pass in the post ID, which is this uh, link ID over here. It's not the parent ID, it's the link ID. Parent ID could be a comment, if it's a response basically to another comment. Um, so let's pass in the link ID, and the second parameter is the comment ID, which is this one. Uh, and if I do that, I'm going to get the clickable URL for that uh, function, uh, for that um, uh, comment. So let's wrap that in uh, the hyperlink uh, function as well. Click on it, uh, and it should take us to that uh, particular post. And uh, this is what it does. Haha, too bad it didn't lift it. Uh, and we can see um, uh, body over here. Or no, there, there is a okay, okay. So it, it shows um, child post as well. So this is the post that I've targeted, and it also shows a child post. Okay, so uh, the reason this is useful is because we can now do uh, sentiment analysis uh, on this. So we can pick any topic and we can use ChatGPT, we can use the GPT functions to uh, figure out what people think of it and how that's changed over time, which is a really powerful thing you can, you can do uh, over here. And uh, since like, this isn't an application, this is just tools you have in the spreadsheet, you can combine this, this data in any sort of way you, you want. You're not limited by an application that has fixed functionalities, uh, then you have to wait for the developer to, to add additional stuff. You, this is a spreadsheet, so you can do whatever you want with this. So let's see uh, how to do sentiment analysis over here. Very basic sentiment analysis. So um, we'll just use uh, which sentiments are we uh, interested in. So we can do uh, negative, neutral, positive. So these are going to be our options. We can use others as well. We can use like, I don't know, excited, uh, um, impressed, whatever. And then uh, let's see if we can uh, categorize, uh, categorize these uh, titles based on this. So uh, we can use the uh, GPT classify function. Let's use this as an input and we want to classify it uh, according to uh, this set of possible values. So this is uh, positive. If I, have, if I want to drag this down, I'm going to have to fix uh, these references to make sure they don't float down. And then I'll basically just do this, and uh, it'll give me sentiment analysis for, for all of this. 
Um, and I can do the same thing for comments. And uh, if I want to uh, do the sentiment analysis for, for multiple comments, I can do that as well. So I've only used one comment over here, but uh, if I want to do more, uh, I'll just basically expand this area over here and I should get uh, many more comments. So wait a couple of seconds for that and we can see that we have uh, comments, a bunch of comments for uh, multiple posts. And this is very useful if we want to do our uh, sentiment analysis. Um, so uh, I'll do, I'll do a separate post on uh, sentiment analysis because I think it's a really powerful use case for this with the uh, GPT and with the uh, APIs like the Reddit ones. This really gives us powerful tools to, to get insights from uh, any particular topic that we're, we're interested in uh, online. So I'll do a separate video on that. Um, so uh, just for people who are not very familiar with the uh, QueryStorm, let's just go over uh, how to get this. So uh, first off, you need to have the QueryStorm runtime installed or the full version of QueryStorm. You can do that by going to QueryStorm.com, click Downloads, and download uh, the runtime installer. If you're interested in uh, writing SQL and C-sharp code inside Excel, you can just use the full installer, um, but the runtime installer is uh, free, it's tiny. Uh, and uh, when you install it, uh, you get these three buttons uh, in Excel. If you install the full version, you're also going to get additional buttons over here. But once you install it, basically you have uh, these three buttons. The most important one is this one, the extensions button. Uh, and then you just go online and you can install the various uh, packages that, um, that you're interested in. Uh, you can install the for Reddit package and the GPT package if you want to do sentiment analysis. Um, if you install the GPT package, uh, you're going to have to configure it. Uh, you, you, you basically just click configure. Uh, click GPT over here and enter your uh, API key over here. I won't go into um, how you get to API key. There's plenty of resources uh, there. Anybody can do it. But um, anyway, um, if you're doing sentiment analysis on uh, large amounts of text, uh, you're going to have to um, provide billing details. Otherwise, uh, you're going to get rate limited. So you're only going to be able to do like 20 requests a minute or something like that, which is very low. So if you enter your uh, billing information, that's, uh, that's going to be... Um, that rate limit is going to uh, get removed, and it doesn't really uh, spend all that much. So, so uh, I, I've used uh, ChatGPT quite a while, uh, quite, quite a lot uh, th these last couple of days. So, uh, yeah, this month, yeah, I've only used like three and a half dollars, uh, and I've like been, I've been really pounding it with uh, with lots of data, with hundreds and, and thousands of posts and comments uh, for the sentiment analysis stuff. So uh, anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot, and I hope to see you in the next video that I make.